And now joining me here in a WCC chat, Alex Barcelo from BYU and the Cougars are off to an eight and two start. Uh, by far one of the most significant victories, not just in the WCC, but I think across the country was the win at San Diego State. Um, maybe even a bigger accomplishment is the fact that you guys have played 10 games, eight and two. Uh, Alex, let's first deal with that. So many teams around the country, a couple haven't even played at all. Um, what does it say that you guys have been able to pull off 10 games to this point? Um, it's a huge blessing, you know, uh, just seeing how many teams have had to postpone or cancel their games. Um, we're extremely, extremely blessed. Um, these guys have worked so hard in the off season and uh, just to be able to battle through adversity and not knowing whether we're going to play that night, um, but just being prepared for the game. Um, it just speaks to our maturity on this team. So I actually missed you guys by a day, the bubble. I think back to a couple of things. A, the way you bounced back after the Boise loss, um, obviously ultimately beating Utah, and then, as I mentioned, San Diego State. But also, that turnaround within 24 hours from USC to St. John's, those two bounce backs, if you will, off of losses, what did that tell you about this group? After the USC game, for sure, it, it taught us that we, we got a lot of room to improve from. Um, we got a lot of young guys, new guys learning different roles, different positions on the floor, um, and, and just knowing that we have a lot of a lot of room to grow, a lot of potential, a high ceiling on this team. But we just got to continue to stay locked in and, and play together. And I was extremely proud of our guys, just the way that we bounced back um, to get that win against St. John's. You know, a great Big East team um, within 24 hours, being able to do scout getting our bodies right uh, as much as we could to be able to uh, perform at a high level against that St. John's team. And then coming back home, bouncing off the Boise State loss, you know, that, that's a that's a loss that we didn't expect to have. You know, we were coming into that game thinking we were going to win and then they hit, they hit a buzzer shot on us. But uh, being able to bounce back and then get get a win against Utah, um, an in-state rivalry team where it's, it's a battle from start to finish. It was, I was just extremely proud of these guys. and. You know, we've learned a lot. We've fixed a couple of things, but we still got room to grow and, and a lot to work on. So it was easy after everything that you guys lost to expect a dip. Um, for the most part, that hasn't happened. Obviously, the addition of Matt Harms has been tremendous, but also for you, your scoring average is way up from what it was a year ago, but you also have more responsibility. And it's easy to say, you know, okay, I'm going to take the baton, but then you actually have to execute and you actually go out and do it. Why did you think you were ready? I would say uh, trust that these coaches have in me, trust that my guys have in me. Um, you know, they, they saw the role that I was in last year and how I kind of adapted to that role. And uh, coming into this this off season before the year started, um, just hitting film a lot. You know, I was with Coach Fieger working on my skill development and uh, kind of what my new role was going to be in this upcoming season. And uh, just hitting film, hitting different uh, you know, reads off ball screens, different passes that I'll that I'll be getting um, in our concepts and the plays that we run, and then just reading a lot. I read a lot about leadership and and kind of how I could adapt into that role and, and what I could do to to help my guys get better. All right, so Mark Pope, uh, we see one side, which is uh, tremendous energy. Um, I mean, he just it just comes out of him, uh, but we're not there every day. Uh, so what are you seeing in terms of, you know, his ability to motivate you guys, to create that energy, to get you guys going every day? Um, I mean, I would say it's it's no different than what everyone else sees uh, from the outside. You know, he's, he's such a high energy coach. He brings it every day. And uh, it's it's unbelievable as a player to, to play under a coach like him when he's in the office from morning until, you know, 12 o'clock, midnight, one o'clock in the morning, um, just working on how we can get better as a team. And uh, I don't know how he does it. I swear he doesn't sleep, but he always comes in bringing that high energy every single day. And uh, it, it's a it's a fun coach to play for. Well, Alex, you're off to a great start. Uh, I had you ranked in my power 36 in the top 25 after that win against San Diego State. Uh, I think it's only a matter of time that the rest of the country really takes notice of what BYU is doing right now. Uh, appreciate it, stay healthy. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I know we'll talk soon. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as well.